Welcome everybody, you're watching Mr. Fugu Data Science. Today I want to discuss a few things. Have you ever wanted to create a stunning piece of artwork with AI, but finding a free way to do so seems challenging? But you're interested in possibly making videos and want free tools to try out, but not sure where to start? This is the video for you. I will show you a mid-journey competitor that is open source and free. Here's some of the images I was referring to. They're very realistic and impressive. These images can mostly be replicated, but it'll depend on a few factors like using Allura and some trial and error with parameter settings in the model. I am also unaware which model was used for this because there are three different types for Flux AI. I assume this is the pro model. This is the first image which looks astounding. The hands are pretty good, the subtle blurring in the background, the hair, the lighting. I like it. The only thing I can consider here is slightly the cheeks and the forehead. Aside from this, the hands are not 100% correct. They are pretty good though, don't get me wrong. You could scroll in and look at the proportions, but aside from from that it's very good let's look at a few more images to see what we're working with run free and dive into the sky hear the wind crying Looking at the GitHub page for Black Forest Labs, the creators of Flux AI, you'll see there's three different options, Pro, Dev, and Schnell. Dev and Schnell can be run locally on your machine if your device hardware can accept it. There's workarounds to change up the code to aid in this, but the Pro model is an API version. From my understanding, some of the significant features for Flux include prompt adherence, creation of anatomic hands, usually, and photorealism, as well as customized text within the prompt that can be added for titles such as if you're holding up a sign something you want set in a background on a t-shirt whatever it may be the other thing that i would like to mention is the output ownership according to the documentation your output is yours and you are responsible for any issues created with it such as copyright infringement or anything else that may arise what piqued my curiosity was the fact that this is a mid-journey competitor flux ai gives us the ability to run models locally if our device is powerful enough we could use services like Comfy, UI, FreePick, Hugging Face, and Notebooks such as Kaggle, Jupyter, or Google Colab. I wanted to test this out as a newbie looking at generative AI prompts. I had the idea of playing with a few images, creating short video clips from them, and making a one minute video to showcase what I can make with zero prompting history or skills. You could take a look and tell me what you think. Look at the card above for the video of what I created. The best part is I did all of it for free, but there are limitations I need to to mention later. Your imagination is the only contributor to hindering your experience, but with aids such as Claude and ChatGPT, you could create beautiful images or videos changing the landscape of perception and reality. I decided to use Google Colab to create a few quick images for free to see what I can get. Let's look at those. Here's the GitHub notebook that I forked from Kamen Do. There'll be a link in the description below. I want to show a couple of things before we move on. Each model has some variation to the code to accommodate for devices with lower VRAM or GPU settings. Currently, we have five options to choose from. If you're curious if this runs on silicon devices, yes. Just make sure you have at least 40 gigs of RAM. If you're using an Apple device, M2, M3 Max probably should work at this point. After a bit of patience, the model will load, which takes on average six to seven minutes, with each image rendered within roughly two minutes. I left the notebook parameters at first and then tried to do some adjusting to the step size as well as image size. Each of these decrease the rendering time at the expense of quality. I want to show some of my images I created. I don't have the copy of the original notebook to show the prompts, but I can show the images and the newer generations from yesterday. I can show those prompts. As a free resource, it's not sustainable. Free and dive into the sky. Hear the wind crying out its prayer. Why are we so ashamed to be alive? Break the chains and our freedom is lost. It's
after some time, I had reached the wall and I only generated seven or eight images. Let me show you what happened. If we look at this error, we can open it up and investigate further. One of the hurdles, I created seven or eight images and I was blocked from using Google Colab to run generative AI models. This was extremely annoying. I thought it would reset the next day and it did not. The day after, I ran it again, produced five images or so, got blocked again. I'm not sure where we can go from here or what you should do. This was an experiment for me. I got some images. I could make a personal video and have a little fun and learn a lot. But for anyone else, you need to make this sustainable. Black Forest Labs GitHub, they partnered with three companies to help you on this journey. Mind you, there are other resources like FreePick if you want to run this online. Unless you have dedicated hardware that could run this for you, I would suggest using one of these online resources. One of them is called Replicate AI. They could give you some free credits if you log in through your GitHub. Even though we ended up getting output with Google Colab and you could experiment with it. It's just not reliable for a free source. There were other issues that I encountered that I want to mention as well. What if you want to upscale the image? Remember, these aren't large images. They're smaller than what you get in Mid Journey, if I'm correct. And there's other artifacts with the Snell model, which you may want to consider. I mean, you will get great looking images. They're not going to be photorealistic like the Pro model or if you run a LoRa. And nothing's perfect. Remember, prompting can help you a lot, but it's just not flawless yet. If this is your main goal, you should just go straight to the pro model. Let me clarify what I meant to say. If you're a casual person trying to learn prompts and have fun, find free alternative versions online. If you have a device capable of doing the work, then I suggest the Snell or Dev version. If you don't have a free resource available to you, consider what really benefits your budget and needs. Those who want the best quality and least amount of errors, the pro version's for you. Remember, this is open source, so there will be advances in the future. And even with the lowest version today, the Snow model, it still produces great results. That would be the conclusion of this video. Thanks for watching. Here's a quick video of what I created with my images. I used CapCut Online and Runway ML. Both were the free versions. If you got this far in the video, consider hitting that subscribe button and leaving a like. Remember that if you subscribe, turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Run free and dive into the sky